Next I have Queen of Swords by Katie Roberts. This is about a girl who is a card reader and she is supposed to marry the prince of this universe or kingdom or something. And she goes to meet his liaison only to find out that the liaison is actually his younger brother and he decides to take her as his own bride. And I believe this is a sci-fi novel. Next I have Wither by Lauren Stefano. Now this book makes my inner feminist kind of cringe because it is about a world where there was a generation of humans that were very sick and so scientists decided to find a way to make their health better and in doing that they cut the life of every generation after the first so now the first generation is about in their 50s or 60s or something like that and all of their children the females die at 20 and the men die at 25 and i'm not sure why five-year age gap so in this series most girls are either sold to their husbands or kidnapped and sold into sex trafficking to produce more babies or are in prostitution and so I believe our main character Reen is sold to her husband who also has like seven other wives uh, she is sold by her brother to this guy so this is probably gonna be a while before I read this one because I'm not loving the idea of it but it also sounds kind of interesting at the same time next I have Unbound by Angela Knight Jennifer Ashley Jean Johnson and Hannah Marine uh, this is a bind up of four different military type books that have to do with shapeshifters I believe and uh, I'm not sure what all the stories are about but I've heard great things about these authors and so I figured I'll why not sample them all at once. That is all out of the first book outlet box and there is no coupon sadly so no five dollars off for me this time. Okay so now we are going to start with the Amazon books. Um, I guess we'll start with the used books and work our way to the newer ones. We're gonna start with this box first. First book I have is Yolo Juliet by William Shakespeare and Brent White. And this is Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, only this one is told in emojis and texts and emails and stuff like that. Basically this is one anyone can read. Even if you're not so great on emojis, there is an index in here to explain to you what each emoji means. And so I kind of skimmed through this at Barnes Noble. I got, I think, maybe the first 10 pages and it was so funny to see the different emojis that they use and so I am looking forward to this I guess I'll wait for looking for something funny before I read this <sighs> ignore the people in the background please next I have Hidden Wings by Cameo Renee this was another recommendation by Benjamin Ben and Benjamin Tomes I believe I'll link his channel below uh, this is about a girl named Emma whose family died in a car crash and she ends up moving to Alaska to live with her aunt but as after spending a little time there she noticed everything's not quite what it seems and then she finds out about some sort of prophecy that she's a part of and so I'm guessing maybe she's either some sort of angel or a fairy or something because hidden wings so it's obviously got something to do with wings and I'm so looking forward to this and we'll move on to the next box Next I have The Falconer by Elizabeth May. This book normally retails for $18 but I got it for $6 on Black Friday. And it, this is a used copy and as far as I can tell it is in perfect condition. There are no dog-eared pages, the cover is perfect. This is about a girl named Alina whose mother is murdered by fairies when she's a little girl. And as she grows up she becomes a fairy hunter or a falconer. She dresses in pants and this is said this is set in Victorian England, I believe in like 1840, I think. This is said in 1844. So this she becomes a, a fairy hunter. She goes out in the middle of the night and hunts fairies. And I believe it starts off when she's at like a ball and then she senses a fairy or something like that. And she has a reputate a scandalous reputation because it is believed that when she slinks out of parties that she's going to meet a lover who is of a lower class than she is and so it sounded pretty good historical mixed with a little bit of fantasy i'm looking forward to it and this is the next package next i have some girls bite by chloe neal this is also a used copy and it is again it looks like almost perfect condition there are slight dents in the top of the cover but that's okay if i end up liking this well enough i and it starts falling apart on me i may just get a new copy if it kills me, I will get all the different stickers off this cover. So this is about a girl, I'm afraid I do not know her name, and she's attacked one day while she is walking home, and she's attacked by a rogue vampire, but ends up being changed into a vampire by the master vampire of Chicago, because vampires have just 
come out of the coffin and she is turned by the master vampire and she suddenly finds that while she was clumsy and uncoordinated before she now can fight with expert precision and this is the first book in the Chicagoland Vampire series and it's something I've wanted to read for a long time and I finally found the original cover which I prefer much more than the newer cover because the newer cover looks kind of generic to me. And this is the next package. Next I have Edge of Darkness by Kristen Feehan, Maggie Shea, and Lori Hender. This is actually a Christmas present for my grandmother so hopefully she doesn't see this video and see it. So I'm gonna stick it right back in the bag. And the next package. Next I have Rebel Bell by Rachel Hopkins and again I will get these stickers off if it kills me. Hopefully without ripping the cover. All the used books seem to have stickers on them, although I wish most of them have them on the side or the back, but these have got two huge ones on the front. It is a used copy. I got this for uh, $6 and it normally retails for $18. It's got a few scuff marks. I've seen this cover in Barnes Noble, so I know that the darkness in this cover is not supposed to be there so I imagine they are scuff marks from it being a used copy and I think this was actually at once a library book so for being a library book it does not look too bad uh, but this is about a girl named Harper who is a who is one day kissed by her school janitor and then suddenly her teacher bursts in with a samurai sword and she finds out that she has all these expert ninja moves and then she finds out that she is I can't remember what the name of it is She's a paladin and that is basically a guardian meant to protect someone special and her, the person she ends up protecting it turns out to be her, her rival for the valedictorian spot and I bel believe his name is Derek? His name is David. So she's meant to protect David which is the last thing she wants to do and this is the first book in the Rebel Bell series and our next package. Next I have Diamonds in the Rough by Michelle Maddow. This is the second book in the Diamond Sister series, which I read earlier this year and I really enjoyed. So I am looking forward to this one. This series is kind of a guilty pleasure. You know, it's kind of a train wreck to watch, but at the same time you can't look away. It's kind of like reality TV. You know they're going to do something stupid, but you have to look. And so this book was basically the girls getting, not only getting uh, to know their new life and all this money that they're going to be surrounded by and kind of getting to know their father and then this book is supposed to be them starting a new school and getting while they get some of the spoiled rich kids in this book they're going to be surrounded by even more spoiled rich kids in this book so I am looking forward to this one and our next package next I have Silent Echo I cannot pronounce this author's name but it is right there and this is about a girl named Portia who has been mute all her life and then suddenly she finds out that she can sing. And if I, if I am correct, I believe she is a siren. And I know there's going to be a love triangle in this book because I have been spoiled for some of this book, but thankfully not all of it. And can I also say, beautiful cover. And another package. Next I have Off the Page by Jodi Bicolt and Samantha Van Leer. Uh, this is a mother and daughter who wrote this book and this is the sequel to Between the Lines. It, Between the Lines is about a girl named Delilah who is obsessed with this book she constantly rents from her library and then she ends up buying the book as she's constantly reading it all the time and then she starts noticing that the characters in the book are kind of not where they're supposed to be and then the characters in the book start talking to her and then she falls in love with the prince named Oliver I believe I don't know the whole story but I'm not but this book is obviously a spoiler she gets Oliver out of the book and Oliver and Edgar which is the author's son look exactly alike so Edgar goes into the book Oliver comes out of the book and he convinces his mother to move to the same city where Delilah lives and they start going to school together so this whole book is his adjusting to the human life because he has lived in a fairy tale his entire life and so it's getting to learn that not ev not everyone is princes and kings and there's no such thing as dragons and fairies aren't real and so this whole book their love story and Oliver adjusting to life and trying to make everyone believe that he is Edgar and so I read a few pages of this at the library and I could not put it down and so I'm still looking forward to this and maybe if I enjoy this enough I'll read off the I'll read between the lines or something and we have another package next I have Ghost House by Alexandra Ign Ignato and Donato 
I'm terrible with names. And this is the author of the Halo series, which I have thought about giving a try. I'm just not so into the angel thing right now. So maybe one day I will give it a try. But this is about a girl named Chloe. Her and, after her mother dies, her and her dad move to this town. And I think it's England. They move to her grandmother's estate in England. And there Chloe starts seeing people that aren't actually alive they are dead so yes this is a ghost story and she meets this guy named alexander who has been dead for 157 years and they start falling in love and she fi slowly finds out that once you let one ghost in they all start coming so alex is alexander's ex-lover from when he was alive i'm guessing tries to kill her out of jealousy or something like that but I was dared by one of my friends to try a few creepy books and so this is one creepy book and another package I've been looking forward to this one a lot. I have Literary Listography, My Reading Life in List. I'm not sure who this is by. There is no author on here. There are all sorts of questions like uh, my favorite autobiographies, favorite troubled characters, uh, books that made me cry, favorite authors, books that ch spiritual books that changed my life, the best books about falling apart, uh, my favorite risque books, uh, my favorite plays. This is just basically a book that could just be turned into tags and inspired tags and I have been looking at this book for a long time. It retails at $17 so I was really just didn't want to pay that much for it and I believe I got this for like $5. So I am looking forward to getting into this book too. Then I have The Blood Coven Vampires Volume 1 by, by Mari Manchiri. This is about a girl who decides to humor her gothic sister one night and goes to a vampire club with her where she is dance starts dancing with this guy who bites her but only then to find out that he actually mistaked her for her her dark side loving sister so now she is stuck with this man being his mate when he only has eyes for her sister and this is a bind up of two books um this includes boys that bite and stake that so I am looking forward to this one. And then we have this one. I think this one is more than one book. This might be two or three. Okay, it is two books. First I have Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Roche. And I would say it's kind of a scratch and dent because there is a huge slit like right here in the cover. Can you see it? Right there. So I got this book for one dollar, thank god, and if I like it enough I'm sure I will replace it, the dust jacket. So this follows, uh, I believe it's six characters. And there is a kingdom uh, surrounding each um, season, you know, spring, winter, fall, autumn. And so they, the winter kingdom was conquered and they all, each kingdom has these like to magical tomes, I guess you could say. And the winter kingdom tome was, the winter kingdom was not only conquered, but their tome, I think, was destroyed. And so these, there are these characters who are the only free people left from the Winter Kingdom that were not captured and turned into slaves and they are trying to free their kingdom and so everyone seems to be loving this series so I wanted to give it a try. Next I have Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies by Jane Austen and Sam Smith. I recently saw the, the movie trailer for this and it looked fantastic and I, and I know I'm going to see the movie so I wanted to read the book first so that I could compare the two and I will link the movie trailer below in case you want to see it. But this is basically just Jane Austen with zombies and all and their and the Bennett family in this series all the girls are trained to kill the zombies. So instead of just being pretty and trying to attract a husband they also hunt zombies. And I am looking so forward to this one. I'm glad I managed to get this cover because I wasn't a fan of the other covers. Next I have The Dead House and I cannot pronounce this author's name so I will post it right there. This book is about a girl named Carly with multiple personality. In the daytime she is Carly and at nighttime I believe she is Katie. And this book is told through emails, documents, video footage, uh, psychiatrist notes, uh, journal entries, and a whole bunch of other stuff. And have you ever had a problem between the American edition and the UK edition of books? Well with this book you really don't have a problem. American edition? UK edition. <laughs> it's awesome. And this is the last little package. If you can call this one little. First I have Miss Marvel, No Normal. And this is about a girl who I believe she is Muslim and she ends up becoming Miss Marvel. So it's between 
her trying to balance traditional with this new superpower and everyone seems to really enjoy this so I am looking forward to reading this.